Hello and welcome in. Uh, today we tried out two Arashim decks. I had some internet problems while I was recording this, uh, which I will shout at uh, a lot. Very sorry about that, but um, it's just part of the live streaming experience when you don't have great internet. Apologies. Oh, look at that. Look at that sunburn line right there. That's pretty good. Uh, enjoy. These These both worked well, but the high Evo one was way better. Uh, in my opinion, just from my experience, I'd say I'd say give that one a shot if you're looking for something to try out with RHM. But there's a lot of good decks out there right now. Tomorrow on stream, as long as things are actually working, I will be streaming the best Snap Judgments decks from this week. And I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful we'll have some good RHM decks in there as well. I This is so much fun. I'm enjoying myself so much. Enjoy. Sec, sec D and D, sec oh no! Welcome to the video slash live stream. Also welcome to all of you today. We are playing a couple of different Arashim decks. This first one is a high Evo Arashim deck that I just found on Untapped. It is definitely one hundred percent probably made by somebody. I just don't know whom. So it's funny. I haven't actually like manually played Arashim yet. Like, I've just played Agatha. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't, hopefully this doesn't hit Quinjet. That's probably the only, oh, okay, never mind. I don't know why I say words out loud. All right, well, we have extra energy. That's great for us. This is a dangerous card, though. I don't know. Or, I guess it's a dangerous deck, like a lockdown deck. I don't know if this is going to go well, but UK takeover, just what American wants after July 4th. It, hey, it doesn't bother me at all. I'm happy to see you all. I don't think I've ever seen that Enchantress variant before. Hmm, beautiful. Bummer. Should have snapped on that one, probably. Peace. All right. I'll snap now. There's no way they win. Mm. Yeah. What I've experienced today, the RNG is in a super bad mood right now. Uh, that was pretty good for me, though. That location that I thought I was going to win that they threw Darkhawk into. We got Negasonic. We're good to go. Like, that was pretty good. I've never had RNG smile on me as much as in that game. I appreciate that greatly. Huh. I should probably change the title of the stream as well. We are not playing Thanos, though. Behold my creations. Yeah, good enough for now. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. Wait, is it? Ooh, I didn't know I had that. That's pretty nice. I like that a lot. But also, if the internet gets bad, feel free to let me know. I have I have no idea what to expect. Dude, Moon Knight two games. This is not mine, right? That's Arishim. Two in a row. What are you gonna hit? Probably Doom. Oh, the thing. The cool variant. It's all right. Hmm. I mean, Goose actually is okay with Doctor Doom. Their Thena can go a little bit bananas, but we have quite a bit of energy. They are playing Arashim. I don't know how this will work, but we'll get there. But I do, I really, I truly have a, uh, a fun story. Oh, that's, enjoy that. The the goose, that's pretty cool. Um, but I, I want to wait a little bit. This has been a, a very entertaining weekend. But what do, do I mean, it's just a, a day of the week, right? In other countries, 4th of July, there's nothing special that other people do. 
I would kind of hope not. Have no idea though. All right, Shang Chi could come in handy. We'll do this and just see what happens. We'll just see. All right, they just want to put out some power. All right, our left lane is locked up. They win left lane very easily. They have Pryo. Play the... Play the card. Probably not a win, but it's okay. Okay. That is a win. What the heck? That is a casserole. Huh. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> okay. My main reason for playing Storm Mid is I didn't want them to think that they could just win everything. Metal Q, what's up? What's up, brother? Welcome. Uh, and Metal Q, I found one, just so you know. I dug through a bunch of videos and I got this. You peace. Pretty good. Welcome in. Good to see you. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is an interesting one. Uh, I still believe the sole reason for <laughs> for buffing Haibo himself is to sell Haibo variants. Very few people, uh, very few people buy because he's never on the board. Yeah, it's the same thing with what's his face, um, Hulkbuster. I don't feel like I ever need to buy anything for him because he just disappears. Same thing for Morph. Why would you get something for Morph? He just turns into another card all the time. Metal Q snapping's been okay. Um, did you pick up Arashim? I just I just want to play Arashim all day, and we'll see if that's fun. I have no idea. Yeah, Phoenix Force too. There we go. People are silly for that. I like having High Evo chilling in my hand with me. <laughs> Vulgar, what's up? Welcome in. Hey, look at that. Like Arashim. Yeah. I I don't know how many times I've actually played Arashim to win a game. Three keys, I'm not sure whether I want to pull. So, a lot of... Dude, the flies. Um, a lot of people are just... They're saying how fun the card is. I... I I don't think it's going to be competitive, but I think it's one of the most fun things I've played in a long time. Um, 4-9 is pretty good. Not going to complain about that at all. I, I think that this is a blast. I think this is some of the most fun I've had in a long time playing Marble Snap. And it's just because everything's so random and weird now. Like, I can play Blob now. And playing Blob on turn four doesn't actually ruin my chances of winning the game. That's that's pretty freaking sweet. And I have a counter card. What kind of luck is this, man? This is amazing. I really like it. I think it's a ton of fun. But I mean, if they drop... Oh, it's beautiful! If they drop Darkhawk, they're just toast. Um... Just been farming it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a totally viable strategy, sadly. But it, it's still fun. I really, I feel like I I don't get my butt kicked as much as I want, like, I I to have happen. Which might sound dumb, probably because it is. But I, I just feel like the deck works a little too well sometimes. And... Wait. Oh, Jean Grey. Whoops. You've played this game before. Come on. That's fine. Why are they thinking so much? Stop. Just play. You got this. Yeah, I, I just, I think this is so much fun. I don't know. And I hope at some point things change. I hope that this deck is proven to be bad, but 
as it stands, it's pretty freaking good, I think. And so, like, if they drop Darkhawk right, they're good to go. Uh, we could lose this easily, but we have over 20 power in two lanes. I think we're okay. I don't know. So, Metal Q, have you just been playing Darkhawk, Mystique Rogue? Is that your is that your game plan? Victory. I've I've avoided playing Loki in these decks as much as possible because I think that's a little bit meh. Like that's just not fun to me. I do have one to try out later, just because it was the highest ranked Arosham deck, and I'd love to see what it feels like. But I don't know. All right, let's get into story time a little bit. This was easier when I play Agatha, because then Agatha just makes all the plays for me. But this was... This was one of the weirdest things that uh, I've had happen. Athena with Darkhawk stuff. No tech cards. Just to make it a little worse <laughs> for people playing. Ooh! That's freaking devious. I like that a lot. Alright, that makes sense. Just queued into. <laughs> That name, that name's not appropriate. We got a lieth. We are not playing Haibo on Sinister London. Are you kidding me? So yesterday, I went and uh, did 4th of July at my aunt and uncle's cottage. And we've been going there for forever since I was a little feller. Um, oh, man. Bummer. And I got to bring my son there for the first time for 4th of July. And it was kind of a nice, ah, you know, everyone's everyone's doing this thing. It's great. It's it's nice. It's fun. Um, I get to live some fun memories out with my son. It's great. So we did a thing that um, is a, it's normal, right? He was jumping on a trampoline, and that's the story does not involve my son falling and injuring himself or anything like that. There's no. No, 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 no nonsense of that nature. Okay? Just get that out of the way up front. Um, I... I'm going to make a play that feels bad with the goal of filling up mid. And we'll see if I can pull this off. Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, yeah, bud. Sorry about this one. So he, he got in the trampoline, was playing with another kid who's like two and a half. A little fella. And the adult's job was basically just to hang out there. And uh, there's no way he pulls a lieth, right? No way. Just make sure that they don't fall off. Uh, my son is not the most coordinated. He's used to trampoline with a net. So we've got like six adults standing around this trampoline, making sure that the children stay on. There were a few good close calls. My son has the head of a rock, so it's fine. He survived all as well. Go mid. Cool. And so at one point, while all these adults are standing around this trampoline, they all start pointing up the hill behind me. Um, and I was like, oh, interesting. Why? Like, I, I assumed it was some sort of drama, some things going on. And there's this, this dude up there walking. Looks like he's having a great freaking time. Um, and I was like, what's, is everything okay? What's going on? Like, do you know who that is? I was like, I, I don't know. That just looks like a, a pretty normal dude. He looks like he's got money. But where we were at, it's pretty normal. People have uh, money. We're at a cottage, okay? Like, that's, that's Elijah Wood. Like, he, what? That, that's Elijah Wood? <laughs> And I, like, I saw him walking back to the cottage he was going to. I was like, oh my, oh my freaking goodness, it's Elijah Wood. <laughs> I had, I had no idea what to do with that. Um, I didn't really believe it at first. Um, because it, it just looked like a very normal person. And I don't experience abnormal things most of the time. I'm a very normal freaking fella. Um. He was not extra flashy at all. <laughs> and I was like, what would be the funniest thing that I could go say to him? And in my mind, it was, hey, I loved your work on Hot Ones. Um, I didn't say, I, I'm, he's out 
at a cottage enjoying time with his family. Um, and I got the story behind what happened, but in an effort to be a good adult, uh, I'm not going to say where I was or any of those things. I'm not trying to dox Elijah Wood, you know? Um, this feels snappable. But it was, it was one of the strangest things to me. But then I had this ridiculous thought that is 100% a joke, but also it just made me smile to think about it. Um, I looked at Elijah Wood yesterday and I was like, that dude, he's just a normal dude, you know? Ooh, we got Meek's ability, that's, that's something. And I was like, that, that dude looks so normal. He doesn't stand out, like, at all. Which is not a bad thing. I'm not saying that in a, in a mean way. But I was like, I got recognized. At a, at a gas station. Completely out of context, all the, all the nonsense. Oh. I mean, this kind of helps him, right? Therefore, I am more recognizable than Elijah Wood. Does the logic check out? Eh, not really. So if we do this, we have to depend on something to win another location. Because he's going to drop Blarvel, and Blarvel is going to kick our butts. I don't think that's the right play, but it does feel good. I think we have to do not that because we don't have Pryo. Is our only play Goose then? But I also, even if I like saw him, I don't think I would ever have been like this guy. <laughs> like if I saw him on my own, like I saw him with my eyes, but it had to be pointed out to me like who he was. I don't think ever would have like guessed that it was him because he just it was so out of context it was so wrong you know we're gonna retreat um i don't uh, i don't think we really had a way of winning this i thought we were good with left but uh they're gonna play ultron and it's gonna fill every location and uh their martyr won't even mess them over so there you go i saw elijah wood yesterday I didn't talk to him. One, because I, uh, under pressure, I'm probably not the strongest, you know? Um, I had someone come up to me and I was like, am I supposed to have, take my, take a picture with them? I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, but also, it's like such a, I mean, I was talking about how like my childhood was kind of being out of the cottage and having fun and swimming and going on the lake and playing. Hockey and Rocky and all those old SNES games and got to bring my kid out there and then there's freaking Elijah Wood walking around the Hobbit himself who is a very normally sized human being I'm I'm Dutch I'm definitely taller than Elijah Wood but he's very normal sized you know I don't know it was just a, an interesting crossover in life okay his Arashim is upgraded so I don't have, like, any boosters for my Arashim because I've only been playing Agatha. So I'd like to fix that today if possible. What do we get, Jubilee? Wow. Turn three Quinjet. Ugh. You know, I don't hate this playline at all. I hate it a little more now. I still kind of think this can work. All right, we're gonna need Rogue. Gonna need something. Oh, sorry, bud. <laughs> Being a freaking jerk. What are you doing out here? Come on. That dude seems to be living his best life since Lord of the Rings. Like, he accepted that the chance of ever surpassing that level of success was so unlikely. What what would he do that's bigger than the biggest movie ever? <laughs> the biggest series ever? 
Um, but I'm going to just do whatever tickles my fancy from now on. He, yeah, I really, <laughs> everyone knows him as Frodo. And I've watched a bunch of other movies with him. Like, he was in Radio Flyer, right? Like, when he was a little freaking kid. Uh, that's not a happy movie at all. Uh, but I, I watched that when I was a younger fella. Um, oh, frames are not currently bad, but they got bad somewhere in there. I don't know. Um, and he was in a movie called Pet. That's a real weird experience. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do with that one. Um, dude, we can get Red Hulk and Quinjet out on turn one. Are they Arisham? They're not. All right. Let's see what happens. But, like, the, the stuff that he's done, he's just such a normal feeling dude, and it makes me uncomfortable because he's incredibly famous. I've never seen the faculty. Ooh, that's... That's real good for us, too. Like, I don't even know what to tell them about that situation right there. Other than... Oh, Nocturne. Oops. Hmm... This is a bit of a pickle. We could go Cyclops. Like, Nocturne can just turn that off whenever they want. So we'll just do that and hope it's good enough. What is the faculty about? When I talked about this the other day, I'm really into horror movies. So, oh my father, you're Arashemming as well. I enjoy it quite a bit. I think it's just a fun card. It's a weird... It's a weird freaking card. I don't know what to... I don't really know what to do. Uh, especially right now, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Guess we'll just do this and ruin some fun of theirs, I guess. I don't know. Scarlet Witch. Alright, that's good. That's good. Scorpion, it's good to see you. Welcome in. I mean, we don't really have to do anything to the right location at all, and we're fine. Got Elijah Wood. Josh Hartnett. Oh my heavens. It's just a dreamboat of a movie. <laughs> I got you. Okay. It's clobbering time. Dude, jo what happened to Josh Hartnett? He was in. I hope I'm thinking of the right guy. But he was in Luck Lucky Number Slevin. That was like the last movie I saw from him, I think. Not a bad movie, in my opinion. It's pretty good. I don't think that's controversial to say, as far as I know. But, I don't know. Darkhawk. Aw, oh, man. They do have Pryo, so they could uh, they could win multiple locations here. Junk. They don't really have to work that hard to win this whole thing, either. I guess they could just try to win left and mid. It's in something really new, but I forget the name. I need to rewatch Lucky Number Slevin. Oh, what the heck? In what world is that a play? What? He's currently the lead in a Shyamalan film called Trap. Never heard of that. Maleficent? First time chatter, thank you for the uh, info bomb. That's appreciated. Do you, what is that? What is it about? Do you know? I, uh, there's no way on earth I ever would have predicted that they would play Ultron and steal the game. Doom was three cost over four power, you had it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Uh, I've played this person before. Yeah, yeah, do you, but do you, I don't know what trap is about. Is it just about a trap? Oh, snap. I haven't watched a Shyamalan movie in a hot frickin' minute. I don't know. He's a, a serial bad guy bringing his kid to a concert. And cops got tipped at a serial uh, bad guy. So in your, okay. All right, I'm down for that. 
I mean, those are don't do those things. Those are bad things to do. Don't do that. Um. So I I have the feeling the deck that they're playing is going to mess around with Wong. Wind aid my hand. Guessing it's not an autobiographical work about a hack who writes a popular twist movie then is trapped in the position of just writing ever worsening twist movies for the rest of his life. I don't think it's that, but um, some people might argue that that's what it is. Possibly. <laughs> Last M. Night movie was... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I And I didn't watch old. Did talk about liking horror movies, but that's not... His movies don't really feel like horror movies most of the time. Not to me, at least. Maybe I'm desensitized and a monster a little bit. Uh, is his an ongoing? No. Okay. But that's there to block Cosmo. <clears throat> so this is just a straight up Namora deck, and that's fine. I'd like to stop this somehow if possible. Dude, a scar. Huh. I mean, do we just Cersei? Oh, frames. Frames. Wait, what if we just do this? Just go bananas. RNG, take the wheel. Ooh, they dig up this time. It's actually not bad at putting a film together. You'd benefit from not always torturing his plots to drop a series of clunky other sh other shoes. Um, I don't know what to do here. We could retreat, and that's probably the best call. I think the right location is safe. Well, and really though, how many times will this trigger? Twice. So there'll be a total of like plus 12 across the board. Orca mid might be good enough. No, probably. Eh. Odin could be 10 power and that just wins there. And then we need it to never hit Jeff. Can't do double scar. Don't think I can beat Odin. I mean, I have White Tiger. White Tiger will drop eight left. I'm going to try it. I have a good feeling. We're good. <clears throat> I don't know why I was so afraid, actually. Are ye worthy? Victory. We beat a guy named Toxic AF. Joker Evo, what's up? Oh, heavens. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's not nice to see bounce. They're so hard to beat. I, it makes me happy. It's such a it's such a fun freaking deck. And when it works, it really works. And when it doesn't, it really doesn't. Oh. All right, can Arish and beat Hella? I don't know. Let's find out. We have Loki. And this is where it's going to be like not fun, right? Like we just we soak another turn and then we play Loki. And that's it. Like, that's the game. That's our game plan. That's not even that many cards. Fun to me is destroy. I just, I never get the cards I want for destroy. Gotta run, huh? Ew, <laughs> that's not great. Hey, we could blink Loki though. <gasps> Legion.
Fun to me is whatever is winning the most. Oh, I'm sorry. Destroy Zoo RHM. These are my playstyles. Oh, I thought. <laughs> okay. I thought you were just saying, like, that's your ideal deck right there. Rest in peace. I feel like we do this. Because whatever they have in the rightmost location mm, should pop. <gasps> ah, bummer. We kind of helped them a little bit there. That's not my favorite thing to do. Uh, mid feels relatively secure at the moment. Leech, you're one turn too late, man. I am blessed by null 80% of the games. I get what I need. <laughs> I wish I had some luck like that. I do not. Here, here. All right, they retreated. All good. I think this deck is going to be really mean. I think this is going to do a lot of good work, and we're going to feel guilty by the end of this stream, uh, which if we keep dropping frames like this, we're going to end this stream real quick, you know? I did end up playing a few games. I'm not used to, like, playing Conquest. So I accidentally got on ladder and I just snapped like it was proving grounds and I didn't realize it until the game was done and I ranked up, but I snapped turn one and we won, which was great. But man, did that scare the crap out of me? I don't know how I ended up there. Ooh, Mystique. This is not a Black Knight deck. We should not lay that probably. Now I build a destroy zoo RHM and see if that is feasible. I'm gonna tell you right now, definitely not. Yo, look at these terrible locations. It really doesn't matter though. But we have Rogue and we have Mystique. Oh my gosh. This is not, this is not too great. Shuri. Please be Shuri into Blob. I think I would like that play. We have Blob in here somewhere. Do we just wait one turn? We had priority. Playing into the left would be fun, uh, but we don't, so. Sorry, playing Legion into um, Luke's bar is what I meant to say, but I just said a mishmash of dumb sounds that weren't actually real thoughts. Um, yeah, Loki is going to do it, I hope. Eliath. Abs man. But they have a Lyoth in their deck. All right, how big are you? They can only hopefully a Lyoth one lane. Yeah, dude. Victory. Ooh, 
We don't run. We don't run from anything because we make poor decisions. Yeah, we... Unless we got a Lyath, we won that game. Even if we... Eh, I don't know, maybe. There's nowhere he could have played a singular Darkhawk that he would have won. Unless he got a Mystique from RHM and... I don't know. I don't know. We, we were fine. We were okay. Just gotta, just gotta believe. Sometimes. All right, Gamma Lab. Let's get some crap in there. What are you playing? All right, Arash. Good to know. Overcommitting a little bit, probably. <clears throat> nice. All right. They never draw their Shang-Chi. Just FYI. It never happens. They'll never find it. Only believe in death. Are you okay? Are you alright? Devil Dino is probably not. Oh man. We could draw our Shang-Chi though. I believe I believe that's possible. Just a Sarah. Nah, they never draw their Shang-Chi. Don't worry. Don't. They. Oh. Define okay. We're okay. You know? We're still here. We had a nice big holiday that... I, get, I feel like 4th of July, the way that it's celebrated... It's not the most respectful celebration to people that were, you know, in a war. You think that uh, they thought of that when they're like, this is what, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to make big explosions in the sky uh, and freak all of uh, all, all the soldiers out. Like that doesn't, I don't know, that's weird. That's just weird to me. Duff? Hillary? I mean, and I, I say that in jest a little bit, but also not. <laughs> like, I, I'm not a combat veteran. Never, I could never do that uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, we do not play Thor in the Tarnax. But, like, for a lot of people, even if you weren't in the military, it's still a bit triggery <laughs> to just have crazy loud sounds everywhere. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. It's just, it's a strange thing. We got Shang-Chi. That's pretty good. Uh, and Zola could be fun. Ha! <laughs> Fool! I could do it, but I'm very unpatriotic. <laughs> oh. RNG! Let's have some fun. Y'all, this is gonna be a blast. Are you ready for this? This is gonna be Yellow Jacket. Yep. Don't worry, in the year 3094, technology will make silent fireworks. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Ooh, Darkhawk. Okay. Cerebro. All right. 
I am all in on the chaos, honestly. Like, this is... This is what I live for, it feels like. So we do this. We hope to hit Dark Hawk. But who knows? Yeah, dude! Never punished! Also, we got Sandman. This is where the fun happens. We got Heimdall. We <laughs> are in trouble. Oh, we're fine. Why would you just give us the cards that we have? Yeah, what the heck was that? Victory. Was this a failed mill deck? That's beautiful. Beautiful. Sweet. Hmm. I don't know, man. I just, the more I see people play Doc Ock, the more I'm like, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> Bonkerton, good morning. What's up, brother? Welcome in. No one and everyone again. What's up? Holy cow! Alright, you guys ready to get bounced into oblivion? Let's see if we can pull this off. Doubtful. We just played them. No one, no stream, uh, no screen peeking, please. Bonkerton, you're playing different games? Ugh! Like what? I've been lurking since the stream started. It's okay. What are you playing? Bury your soul. We got Hella. Mm. Honor of Kings. Is that one of those fun, like, uber nerdy games where you have to, like... This is my command of... of, of Padawans. That's not the right word. My serfs. My, my whatevers. And they're gonna go here. Oh, it's League of Legends. Gotcha. <laughs> my... my game was nerdier and weirder. Guys, Angela's in Marvel Snap. What are you talking about? Yo, sorcerer, welcome in. How you doing? You ready for the weird? Arashim, did you pick up Arashim? Is Arashim fun to you? Are you enjoying your life? How was your 4th of July? Honor of Kings is a MOBA. I got you. I'm all caught up now. I just feel like this is the most fun play. Milady. Oh my gosh. I... I tried really hard to play MOBAs. I'm just so bad at them. I always get yelled at. I've talked about it a few times before, but like, I played League when it first came out. I just got... Well, I don't know if it was when it first came out. I just got yelled at all the time. Uh, by, by children, I assume, uh, who were mad at me because I was feeding the bots. Um, and when you're an adult being yelled at by 13-year-olds, it doesn't feel very good. So, uh, I just, I have the feeling that they're going to win this one, but because they showed up in chat, I'm going to play the game out. There's no reason they don't win mid just straight up. Yeah. Blob left is our best bet. They didn't snap. We're just gonna we're gonna be nice here. Donate a few cubes. I was learning a clash lane. Gosh. <laughs> we got their Titania. <laughs> 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 it's 
enjoy the cubes. <laughs> oh man, that was beautiful. That is a tough thing about playing ladder at this like level is I do end up playing against the same people a lot because everyone's in the same like three or four minute loop. Hmm. Also, if the internet keeps going crazy, I'm not I, I'm not gonna do this for four hours today. I I just I can't do it. I'd like to spend that time. Huh. Yeah, yeah, GG's. I know that's it's crazy. I was just saying it's it's weird to get kind of the same people over and over. Glazer, what's up? Glazer, my internet sucks today. I'm very sorry. Hey, guys, go subscribe to Pulse Glazer. Go to Snap Judgments on YouTube and uh, subscribe. Do it, please, and thank you. Oh, no. I don't even touch ladder after hitting infinite. Sorry. It's it's totally safe. What? These draws are garbage. Oh, y'all, we are 100 per- Shh, guys. Guys, we're gonna- we're gonna play Galactus. Shh, don't tell them. Don't tell them. Yeah, Glazer, if my internet freaks out, I'm sorry. Um... Binks broke RSM is your most recent video. Please hold. Alright. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe and uh, get Glazer there. He deserves it. Um, I mean, this is just uh, Galactus is going to help them, right? Like, there's no way that Galactus. No, we have Rogue. We're gonna freaking do this. And it's gonna be sorcerer. Thank you for the for the one month sub. I appreciate that. Sorry, I'm used to saying prime sub. Subscriber be banned. Yes, please. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate that a lot. Ain't no way it works. But they didn't snap yet, and I I want to do something. Someone mentioned this and was going to comment on one of your vids. Uh, Thought it would get lost, potentially adding up to the tournaments for players to seek out. I think decent. What? <laughs> I need Bryo, but I don't have any cards to lay. We're not getting anywhere. Only person I know that keeps track is Rowdy, and it's tough. All right, Glazer, let's see. Glazer, you're still numbers away. Come on, we can do this. You just have to make a terrible play. Also, Caliber, good to see you. Sorry, chat went a little bit crazy for a moment. <gasps> it's not gonna work, because they just drop null and they kick our butts. Unless we can get an Elias. Alright, that's probably the most that Arashim has screwed me over this whole time. And it's when Glazer showed up, so that's not good. Always a pleasure seeing us dads up <laughs> at about this hour. Little burp from the kid's splash pad yesterday. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I, I get that. I also, um, I talked about this at the beginning of the stream, uh, but I saw Elijah Wood yesterday. He was visiting family. Um like around the cottage where we were at and um it was a, a very fun thing for me because like lord of the rings was a an amazing childhood thing and hanging out at the cottage that my aunt has uh, is a, an amazing childhood thing um and so just kind of like a weird frightening strange mishmash of things happened yesterday and it was wonderful sonobi well done i drew nothing useful <laughs> 
You kicked my butt super badly. Well done. Ordinary Harry with the raid. Oh my gosh. What's up? Thank you so much. That's amazing. Oh man. I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Thank you. That's beautiful. Meltdown kid, thank you. Thank you so much. The game panda, welcome in. First time chatter. Uh, we'll do a slash shout out. Not that anyone uh, needs this, but ordinary Harry. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, that's a beautiful hit right there. Do a bit of this. Uh, so we're playing Arishem. Uh, sometimes well, sometimes uh, not. Uh, but we're we're giving it our best. My internet's a little bit freaky right now, and I'm very sorry. It bums me out that it would happen on a day like this. Um, but that's just how life goes. Um, welcome in. If you don't know who I am, that's okay. Um, I, I think I'm a, a, a I'm getting better at Marvel Snap. I'm improving in a variety of ways. Um, I'm not the best, and I don't pretend to be. Ooh. Nah, this is okay. This is not a big deal at all. This is totally fine. Um, I do my best to keep things entertaining. Um, my my main great thing that happened recently is I, I saw Elijah Wood yesterday. <laughs> did anyone else see Elijah Wood? No? Well, I did. Um, it doesn't matter the order that we do things in. I just want to use up the Black Vortexes. No. it's This is a bad call. We're going to hit Destroyer. Um, Destroyer isn't a card? Gotcha. This is because of you, the Rainmaker. All because of you. Leader is a card that did not help us at all. Tell me if Hathor is the Destroyer in the room with us now. It's not! Uh, we got a Lyoth. That's pretty fun. This is going to be absolute chaos. Dude, they got double apocalypse? Yeah, the leader was really helpful. I mean, it all depends what they draw in the right, or what they create in the right location, but I think that's okay. I, I have no concerns right now, um, yet. And, you know, Mr. Fantastic is really keeping us going here. All right, incoming destroyer for them. What it? All right. Well, we're good. <laughs> <Victory>. <laughs> what? 